Hi friends, how are you doing? I hope you're having a great day, enjoying all the nice weather. Today we're gonna read a book and I thought about this book because I was watching Miss Morgan's video last night and she mentioned that um, we can reuse things. Instead of throwing them away, um, we can reuse them. And we'll find out what this little boy used again. Our book is called Peter's Chair. It's written and illustrated by Ezra Jack Keats. How old do you think is this boy? What is he wearing? Let's read. Let's start reading our story. Peter's Chair. This is our title page. And I also want you to notice about this book um, that the illustrator used a technique called collage. Collage is when he, um, a person uses different materials to create an image. Here he used a real picture. Um, he used different materials to make, to represent the tap, the blocks, a cutting of a little teddy bear. We'll look at more examples as we go through the book. This page is called a dedication page. This book is dedicated for Joan Roseman. It means the author wrote this book and dedicate it to somebody that he appreciates. Here we go. Peter stretched as high as he could. There, his tall building was finished. This reminds me of your amazing creations at our blog center. Crash! Down it came. What kind of word is crash? Do you remember? Yes, it's an onomatopoeia word. It describes the sound that the blocks made when they fell. Shh, call his mother. You'll have to play more quietly. Remember, we have a new baby in the house. Peter looked into his sister Susie's room. His mother was fussing around the cradle. That's my cradle, he thought, and they painted it pink. How do you think he felt? You can look at the pictures, remember? Pictures gives us idea of what's going on. And notice how this is a piece of real lace. The cradle is made you can't appreciate it very well, but um, it, it's made with a real piece, of, real piece of cloth, too. And they use um, some drawings, too, with paint. Hi, Peter, said his father. Would you like to help paint sister's high chair? It's my high chair, whispered Peter. Look, here are real cuttings of newspaper. He saw his crib and muttered, My crib, it's painted pink too. Not far away stood his old chair. They didn't paint that yet, Peter shouted. He picked it up and ran to his home. To his room. Let's run away, Willie, he said. Peter filled a shopping bag with cookies and dog biscuits. We'll take my blue chair, my toy crocodile, and the picture of me when I was a baby. Willie got his bone. This story also reminds me of our story, Christina and the Frog. Um, remember, her parents didn't want um, were busy doing different things instead of playing with her. But it was because 
um, a new baby sister was at home too, just like this one. That's how these books are similar. There's a lot of changes going on here too. They went outside and stood in front of his house. This is a good place, said Peter. He arranged his things very nicely and decided to sit in his chair for a while. But he couldn't fit in the chair. He was too big. What do you think he's gonna do with his chair now since he doesn't fit anymore? His mother came to the window and called. Won't you come, won't you come back to us, Peter dear? We have something very special for lunch. Peter and Willie may believe they didn't hear, but Peter got an idea. What do you think his idea is? Share it with your parents or your sister or your brother. Soon, his mother saw signs that Peter was home. That rascal is hiding behind the curtain, she said happily. You, um, you can see that the curtain is made of real wallpaper. She moved the curtain away, but he wasn't there. He was tricking her. Here I am, shouted Peter. Peter sat in a grown up chair. His father sat next to him. Daddy, said Peter, let's paint the little chair pink for Susie. And they did. Uh oh, look at the puppy's body. He's leaving a trail of pink prints. The end. So how did S um how did how did he reuse his chair? Yes, he painted it pink so his little sister can use it. This is another way in which we can reuse things. Um, we can share things that don't fit anymore to our younger siblings or um, cousins. Um, we can also donate books that we have already read to the library. There's many ways we can reuse and help save our planet. I hope you had a you enjoy your book. I hope you enjoy the book and we'll see you next week. Bye.